Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Float. Social justice warriors all across the country recently organized an event that essentially was meant to do one thing, to bash the president. Too bad for them, things would blow up in their face as President Donald Trump himself ordered participants to do one thing, and that's about the time the grill erupted in a firestorm of outrage. Watching the left continue to throw their temper tantrum a full year after President Donald Trump took office is almost physically painful at this point. Not only is their incessant whining getting really old, but their every attempt to make Trump look bad is getting even more desperate and pathetic than the last, only making them look even worse. We saw it last year with the posse hats. Somehow, glorifying female genitalia and wearing something meant to resemble it was the best way they could think of to fight against President Donald Trump. Seeing how that was a colossal failure, they decided against it at this year's Women's March the purpose of which was supposedly to harness the political power of diverse women and their communities to create transformative social change. Of course, President Trump heard about the march, and he did what he has done best for an entire year now, troll the left. Even better yet, he decided to do so by issuing an order that would eventually result in liberal heads exploding, as a review reports. Taking to Twitter to make his demands clear. Trump told all women to get out and march in order to celebrate the historic milestones and unprecedented economic success and wealth creation that has come about in the past year. In short, he told women, specifically the liberals intent on walking the streets, to get out there and celebrate him and what he's been able to do for them. As if that wasn't enough, he then twisted the knife by touting the fact that we are currently seeing the lowest female unemployment, rate, in 18 years. Just like that, you could hear them start to pop, one by one, their heads exploding as each of them heard the news. Before long, there was yet another temper tantrum, seeing how President Donald Trump just took a giant crap all over their events by using facts rather than feelings. All of a sudden, it went from a march against Trump to a march in favor of and celebrating him, or so, that's how they felt after his remarks. Within mere moments, the furious left hit Twitter in typical liberal fashion to put their opinions on social media as if that changed the facts Trump pointed out, and sadly, it started with politicians. Showing their own stupidity and missing the sarcasm of President Donald Trump's tweet, they tried to explain that the march was a demonstration against him. Of course, he knew that damn well and got the exact reaction that he wanted out of the easily manipulated liberals while also pointing out why their march is utter nonsense. Trump isn't a dummy. He's proven it time and time again, despite the left's best efforts to convince the American people otherwise. On a daily basis, he takes these people to task and keeps on winning. Even better yet, he rubs it in every chance he gets, which is exactly what he did here. Anyone thinking Trump didn't know full well what he was doing is an idiot not worth responding to. The president is probably sitting somewhere very comfortable, laughing at the wasteful and worthless outrage of the left. It's a shame these morons don't actually do something productive with all that energy. If they were half as smart as Trump, we may have something to worry about. Thankfully, that clearly isn't the case. Case. <laughs>